your boy Game Bang. Um, just uh, wanted to make a, a a video. I wish I had um, that fast motion stuff, but I thought it'd be interesting to show you uh, a video on a matchstick and how fast it can light. I'm pretty sure most of you don't know how fast it can light, but I wanted to show you and see what would happen. So let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. Sometimes it takes a little while. Sometimes it won't light. That's all right. But you can see that it lights up really fast. Survival matches don't do this. But when they light up, they stay lighted and the wood doesn't burn too fast. But like this, you can see that the word wood burns really fast and doesn't work out too well. But at the same time, you also got a nice little flame going on for about a minute. And matches are pretty good for that, so if you have like a match or something, it'll last for a few minutes before it actually goes out. So, it's pretty good. Alright, so let's see. Where did I put that one piece of the match? I had one piece of a match laying around here somewhere. Um... Here's, um, and I wanted to also show how fast tin foil will light on fire. Tin foil won't necessarily light on fire unless you have, like, um, a microwave. But the cool thing about tin foil is it also transfers heat. So if you hold it over the flame for a long period of time, it'll transfer heat and it'll look like it's on fire. But really, ah shit, it won't really be on fire. Fuck, that hurt. So that's the really cool thing about it. Let's see if I make a little contraption here. Put this wood on there. We can see how fast it'll take for it to melt through. If I can get this balanced on here right. All right, there you go. It's touching the tin foil. And I'm not saying that tin foil is completely burn proof, but eventually it will melt through because tin foil happens to be made out of aluminum and can melt through pretty easily, but pretty slow. As you can see, it's not a full hole. It's just a it's just a little dots. But if we uh we flip it over in the exact same spot should make a, a perfect somewhat perfect hole right through it <coughs> oh shit <coughs> that's 
also the pretty funny thing about it. And I know you're thinking, game you have, or death you have, uh, you have, uh, some pretty things that can catch on fire pretty fast. And I'm just gonna say, yeah, this is true. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep it out of the way for you peeps, so you, you can kind of have some safety precautions. Or the beanie. To, I didn't have time to do this video earlier, but I thought since I was going to bed or maybe watching a movie, that I'd do that. I'd show you guys how to do that. Um, but also, I have a, a little GTA 5 video that I have plans on posting real soon. And it's basically about how to get the watchdogs um, suit. Um, I haven't figured out a, a shirt yet for 360, but as soon as I find a white shirt, I'll post it. Um, it's a very simple glitch, but I don't think it's necessarily a glitch. But I guess you guys can say that it is. Alright, so let's see. Can we poke a holy crap? Can we poke a hole through this? Okay, we cannot poke a hole through this. Still pretty much tin foil. Alright, now will scissors melt? No. Because scissors have some sort of metal in them that'll allow them to melt. I'm not talking about the plastic, I'm talking about the metal part, but it'll melt like aluminum if you get it over the flame for a long period of time. And it does have a plastic coat on it, um, and the plastic coat does kind of make it fire resistant, but at the same time it's not really meant for um, cutting through hot things. So you shouldn't really expect it to do the job, unless you're looking for tactical scissors, if there is such a thing. And should be pretty much good. But it's not really anything you want to be messing with. Alright, so let's grab some paper. Got my manual. Now that will catch on fire. That can catch on fire instantly. So make sure you're careful with that. Always take your safety precautions and uh, have a fire extinguisher around. I'll go find an extinguisher in the next room. It's just like a quick run out and grab type thing. So always have your precaution. Let's see, what else can you burn up? pretty easily um burn out a cheeto pretty fast at least i think <laughs> yeah cheetos burn that's weird to anybody that eats cheetos take your precautions with cheetos and <clears throat> try not to have your cheetos around something um that's flammable like a candle or something. That's pretty weird. I've never seen that happen before. I'm probably not the first YouTuber to do this, but, you know. And I'm not going to eat this shit. It's burnt. Who the fuck would eat a burnt Cheeto? Definitely not me, but I'm pretty sure there's a weirdo out there that would. I'm only doing this because I love the smell of burnt things. And I'm pretty sure burnt cheese won't do anything. Oh, look at that. It's like making a little bubble. That's interesting. A really cool thing is, too, with one of these lighters, safety lighters, all you have to do is pull down the trigger and it lights. Be careful with it because you don't want to get it to, like, too close and have it blow up or put the light out. Make sure you're careful with that. Alright. Um, 
pretty sure that this won't light on fire because this is glass, but you never know. I want to see what will happen if we plug it in and, and we light it on fire. Um, oh yeah, and if you're under the age of having common sense, don't do this. But I am also what you call a professional dumbass, so be careful with what you do. And let's see what will happen. Huh. Rudely enough, nothing happens. Guess there's not enough energy in it for it to do anything. Because it definitely reacts when I put it on there. Normally when you put it put it on a flat surface, it won't react. See? It won't react. Alright. Yeah. Well, I have this weird fucking hissing sound on the back of my head. Oh, crap, look at that. Oh, shit, it went out. <laughs> Alright, well, this has been your boy game, and your boy, uh, Barnes. Uh, holla at me if you have any ideas for a future video. This was, um... Recommended by myself. Oh crap, look at that. <laughs> I told myself I needed to do this. Not only that, but I felt like I needed to out fucking light that candle. Because I, I haven't... I don't think that this, that's a smell candle, but... You never know, right? Am I right? <laughs> Alright. So I'll catch you dudes later. Um, <clears throat> like, please comment, subscribe... Follow me on my Facebook. It's Nicholas Lamaster. Um, hit me up for anything you know. Uh, anything you want me to do. Stay safe. If you try this. Don't be a fucking dumbass like me. and Light stuff whatever you see on fire. Because now I'm going to have to clean that crap up. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>